Okay, so our next question is, how many kids, okay, do you want to have? Um, my mom had six children, including myself, so I like to exceed, <laughs> depending on my husband, but me feel. <laughs> the very first time you're coming across this channel you are welcome if you are old here you are welcome so please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button like share comment and also leave a thumbs up let's get into today's video but before then i have a guest <laughs> esther again on my video today so today we are going to do a q a about us and we hope you enjoy so sit chill and then enjoy okay guys so like i said we'll be doing a q and a you know video right mm -hmm. we'll be doing a q and a questions and, yeah about ourselves and then we'll answer them for you guys and we hope you enjoy so on that note without further ado let's get into it our questions so the first question for us is who is your favorite actor? My favorite actor? I see Jackie up here. I like her. Okay. Her wealth. That's yeah. nice. That's good. Acrobat too. My forever. He's, he, he's amazing. That man is actually he's amazing. He's very versatile. He's amazing. Okay, my favorite actor or actress would be Nana Mama Brown. And yeah, Nana Mama Brown. In Ghana, it will be Nana Mama Brown. But in Nigeria, it will be Stan Easy. He is a Nigerian actor. I like him so much. And I like this guy, Chris Okabwe. <laughs> I don't know whether I mentioned him well. He's also a Nigerian actor. I love his movies. Even yesterday, I was searching through my phone looking for his movies to watch. Maybe I know his face. Yeah, he's he's an amazing actor. I, I just love I just love his acting. I love yeah. them. Okay, so the next question is how many shoes do you have? <laughs> Combining heels and sneakers. I think I have enough. Yeah. So our next question is would you rather be able to fly or be invisible? <laughs> <laughs> Fly or be invisible. invisible. I think yeah. I'd like to be invisible so yeah. that one, I can enter places that I can't with my physical be like entering the bank, breaking the bank. That one we are not going to tolerate at all. At all. At all. It takes to take just yes, you know. And and I want to see those who talk about me in my absence. Exactly. I mean I agree with you. This is exactly what yeah. I want to be. I also definitely pick to be an invisible person. So I can knock them. I can knock people <laughs> invisible. <laughs> you know, I would like to be invisible. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Like hers. I mean, what she said. Okay, so what is the most embarrassing memory from school? Most embarrassing memory? I think back in SHS, mm. I had one teacher say, oh, gee. <laughs> he was good though, but I what think that face for <laughs> I just wanted to express my like a refreshed mm. He was he was a nice person, but I think we annoyed him and then he decided to conduct a test out of nowhere. Wow. And it was difficult. The questions were difficult. Me in particular, Comat. I really have um, challenges sometimes. And then he decided to lash those below his mark mm. um, in the middle of the school under a shoe. Oh, he lashed me and my beads <laughs> got torn. Oh my god. And a bit charm it's 
Oh, that was like my feel bad. That's I'll never bad. forget. That's so some short man. Bit. That's so bad. Okay, me. My most embarrassing moment was also in SHS. Mm. When I was in SHS, I mean, you know, you see the beauty, like you see the beauty, right? Like although I was too young, I mean, around 15, 16, 17. Mm. Yeah, when I was in secondary school, so like I mean. I was good looking and almost all the teachers, especially the male teachers, were just close to me. <laughs> we had nothing going on, but they liked me, you know. And so, yeah, so I remember some of the female teachers, okay? <laughs> some of the female teachers having issue with that and, you know, you started hating on me. Yeah, and started hating on me. You know, sometimes unnecessarily they will conduct this. Uh, that time I was in boarding house, so they will conduct this uh, call or something like that. And it happens oh. that I wasn't among those that they conducted the roll call for. Then you get they will get the chance to, to yes, come to the classroom and embarrass me and say all sort of things. You know. It was so embarrassing to me. I really didn't like it at all. I really didn't like it at all. So yeah, one of my most embarrassing moments was in SHS. Okay. okay, so the next question is, are you like your mom or dad? Oh! Uh, <laughs> me, I'm comparing myself to my mom and dad. I think I have my mom's, I'm more of my mom. But my dad and I too are very close. Yeah. yeah, my mom and I too are very close. I have my mom's features. Um, yeah. Okay. And my dad. Okay. Okay. Me. 50, 50. Okay. When it comes to me, I would say, I I am more like my mom and dad at the same time. Mm. My dad is late, okay, but when I was growing up, I was more like my dad. Mm. But when I lost my dad yeah i realized i am more like my mom because my mom is a strong woman very strong. a very strong woman she never gives up i mean ever whatever she has been through she never gives up and she is so humble and she's so appreciative very and welcome yes very welcoming like we are open if you come to us with you know good intentions you know we are easy to welcome you. So I am growing up just like my dad. I was more like my dad, but at this point, I'm more like my mom. Yeah. I'm a strong woman. Okay, so the next question is, what is the best part about being your age? <laughs> about <laughs> being my age? Hmm. I think as of now, I feel mature. My parents see me to be mature and um, I'm able to take decisions on my own. Yeah. I take responsibilities for my actions. Um, back then, I think when I was younger than now, I'd have to ask permission to do a lot of things. Mm. Yeah. You can't even buy certain things. But at my age, ah, oh, I like it. Yeah. I like it. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Well, I think the best part of being my age is the fact that I see life more interesting than before. You know, like we said earlier, before it's like almost everything that you want is being given to you. Like everything is being given to you. But at this point in my life, I am more of the one given and it's teaching me how to give. It's teaching me how to do certain things. It's teaching me how to be more responsible. It's teaching me how to be more honest about how I feel. You know, be able to control my emotions. So I think the best part of me being my age is this. Like, I'm more responsible. I'm more persistent. I don't want to give up. Like, mm, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so this question is um, What is your dream job? My dream job? Hmm. I want to be huh. a doctor. Yes, 
of course and you will be in jesus name amen <laughs> okay so me my dream job i really really want to own my own businesses like i want to be one of the most recognizable entrepreneurs in the entire world <laughs> yeah i really really want to be a business woman an entrepreneur someone that is being looked to as a positive influence yeah you know own some couple of businesses yeah of course okay yeah. so when do you want to get married oh when i want to get married oh. at least when i actually i don't want to get married 30 years yeah. nah. yeah me too in my late me too. Me too. Me too. from 30 29 28 27 26 coming yeah it's fine but 33 30 nah me too i also don't want to get married in my late or my 30s honestly mm. i really to me i wish i had even gotten married at weeks eh, when i was young pastor told me i'll get married at the age of 22 that's 22 i'll be having my own house <laughs> my mansion right now i'm 22. My, you know. <laughs> i'm still staying with my parents well. <laughs> that ain't me. Um, the time will come well yeah so me i i honestly wished i had gotten married earlier but i'm still in a prison my me yes you if can't the, to be honest they, now, right? like getting married i just can't think of the fact that i'll get married to a man that mm -hmm. at the end of the day like i'll be so dependable on that yeah. person like i i am not that type of a you person you birth children and you'll be struggling yo yeah so i want to get married when i am financially stable when my partner is financially stable yeah we know that when we come together and you know get married we will be able to live our lives as well life. exactly yeah. so yeah okay so our next question is how many kids okay do you want to have my mom had six children including myself so i like to exceed <laughs> depending on my husband but me feel <laughs> um seven is okay for me or maybe six now <laughs> okay, okay. okay well me i want to have four if god decides to dash me more than four i'm okay, okay. but to me what i want is four maybe two boys to go or all boys all girls i'm okay you know yeah i'll just be grateful i want to Six or seven. <laughs> we don't want to <laughs> I, I want is. an extended family. Okay. Well, all right. So the next question is, what's the last movie you cried to? Um, I don't remember. Me too. I've, I've cried a lot of movies. Yeah. I don't really remember. Me too. Titles. Me too. I don't remember them. Okay. So the next question is, what superpower would you? superpower the part to change everything from bad yes. to good yes i the don't, part like, to change I don't even want to vanish the power to change things from bad to good like, yes now. yes yes the power and to turn good. things around like change mm -hmm. time and correct certain things yeah. i did in yeah. the past that i think it was a mistake and even correct my parents mistakes you know, and, and, and help them to do the right thing for us, the generations that are coming. So if I have the superpowers, yeah. So the next question is, uh, what do you think is your best feature? My best feature? I face. Mm. <laughs> my face is not my best feature to really? me. Really? Yeah. So what is your best feature? I don't think I have a best feature. I'm actually insecure. But my whole exactly thing. yeah, I have a well, very high insecurity. Like yeah, my yeah, whole yeah, self. you're right. So I don't have a best feature. Well, uh, but well, um, character-wise, or um, yes, any other thing, I think I'm 
I'm a good person. I'm a nice yeah. person. Well, I'm kind. I think I'm funny. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I'm, okay, my so best feature. Though I know I said my best feature is my face, but I still think there are more it's features. Okay. You, you don't, it, it looks like a face. Oh God, you it did an like amazing job. <laughs> that is your best okay, feature. So, don't even tell so, us so, anything. So, so I also do have insecurities, right? Like I right. do. I really do. My body, like sometimes I don't like the way my body is. You see, I have this fat thing here. I've been trying to gym by the way. I've been trying to go to the gym by the way. So, so I do have, I do have insecurities. I, mm. I have, I have a couple of insecurities that I'm not okay. proud of, and I pray to God sometimes, and also work on myself sometimes to be able to be better. Well, anyway, for you know, someone wants to be like me. Yeah, me. So I want to be exactly, like that person. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, okay. So the next question is, um, what is something you want to improve on? Something I want to improve on, uh, improve on. As yeah. a, is it a bad thing I want to improve yeah, on, or a good thing I want to improve? Anything, on? whether bad or good. Okay. Like, I don't know any bad thing I would like to improve on instead of um, finding ways to minimize it. But a good thing I would like to. Improve well okay so as you are thinking about it okay so me certain things i want to improve on i would like to improve on is my uh, my ability to you know create things okay. and make useful resources out of it something like that like being able to come up with business ideas and you know work hard on it learn much about it that I will be able to draw traffic or bring investors okay. to invest in my business. You know, I would like to improve on that. I also want like to improve on my health. Seriously, like like my physique. Mm. I really want to improve on it. Hey, that is why I started a gym and thing. Like I'm not joking. Me like, too. Like, <laughs> like, I'm not gymming anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have started gymming so I would like to improve on my physique, basically. Our nash. <laughs> well, I'm not, not necessarily thinking about the nash. I think like exists. my physical appearance. I want to look fit. Like, I want, yeah. when someone sees me, the person should see how healthy and fit I am. Like, you know? So, yeah, and education wise, too, I think I want to, I want to improve myself, basically. Mm-hmm. I mean, being able to improve myself, my eloquence in speaking and all that. Like, okay, so the next question is, um, where would you be in, in five years' time? In the next five years, um, I should be able to um, achieve at least a 50%, or let me say a 70% of my goals. Yeah. What I want to become in future, at least certain foundations into for my future. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I, I should achieve seventy percent in the next five years. Is a mm-hmm. long way. So yeah, five years is yeah. a long way because you can actually achieve a whole lot in even just one year, even yeah. in six months. Mm-hmm. So, so I think in the next five years, I would like to also achieve some couple of goals i've set for myself yeah. you know some long-term goals and short-term goals i have set for myself like education like starting a business like growing my youtube channel like you know yeah. socializing traveling you know at least i would like to you know achieve certain things a couple of things okay so the next question is do you have any secrets that nobody knows yeah Hey. Absolutely, <laughs> and it's between me and God, and nobody, absolutely wow. nobody, can get it out of me. I'm wicked, but I cannot do this. Oh, God, forgive me. A secret that nobody knows mm-hmm. <laughs> between me and God. I used to have a secret that nobody knew, but eventually, I think I told it to a couple of people because I was angry. <laughs> 
<laughs> it, it just came out. That's what right me. Now I don't have a secret. Yeah. Me, nah, my nah. secret is safe with God, and only God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not even my, my siblings, not even yeah. my friends, no, but ah. I mean, only God, my secret is safe with God mm. and God alone. Wow. <laughs> so the next question is, what celebrity could you beat up in a fight? Hey! Celebrity I would beat Do up I? in a fight. <laughs> Do I have any celebrity I would like to beat in a fight? I would beat oh. in a fight. Celebrity like an actress or... Oh. Shatawali, that boy, do I just don't like. <laughs> I, I actually I don't have. And I medical, have. I don't know what he's doing with his his music. I, oh, you have a problem. Look at his recent song, Midonya Mimi. What is that? <laughs> if I catch you, I'll beat you. That's for medical. Me a bunu fucking fucking change, bro. Well, I don't have. I don't really have any celebrity that you be that when I catch out like when I get hold of the person I'll beat. like beating you can't beat the person like send a you improve your on your way and the person is drifting <laughs> <laughs> you know I even if I have somebody like that but yeah. I don't have the name like I don't know the name yeah. I don't know the name oh I mean I'm fucking <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's move on. So the next question is, um, what actor or actress do you like at, like the least? The least actor or actress. I, like. I really don't. I really don't know the actor or because I, I really like don't the have least. their names in mind. Um, if it was to be a musician, fine. I know someone. I don't hey. like. A musician. <laughs> okay, I know people are going to chat me for this, but Dinah Hamilton. Really? Yeah. You people, like her? People will be like, surprised. Like at least I like her, yeah, but, but I don't like her songs. I feel like she's reciting. She's just reciting. I don't feel the spirit in her song. Really? For real? Really? For me? Okay. I, I used to be in my my first hostel. My roommate can testify. When they start playing Diana Hamid, I leave the room. Wow. Or they'll just put it off. Or maybe when I'm listening to music and then mm. her song comes in, I'll quickly wow. change it. Wow. It's just only one of her songs that has touched me. As son, the rest of it, I feel like, or reciting, she's mm. putting too much authority on them. Okay. But uh -huh. I would like to feel the spirit mm. rather than the words. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I get it. Well, to me, I'll pass. Like, okay, so which sibling do you like the best? Ah! <laughs> My siblings. I love um, my siblings, and I don't have siblings. Best, like I love all of them. Me, I don't love all my siblings. All of them, they like me. <laughs> all my siblings, they, they like me fucking. And you don't like them. Oh, really? I like them. But <laughs> I want to say they like me the more. Okay. Mm, okay they are okay. fond of me. Well, me, I love all my siblings. I love them so much. They are best to me. I mean, they are everything. Oh, they are family too. to me. They are friends to me. You know what they say blood is thicker than water yeah you know no matter what they do to you i mean some of them have annoyed me so much like some of them they get me angry <laughs> honestly like I, I, I sometimes i wish i would not even spend the time with them or something yeah. but at the end of the day i love them and there's nothing i can do about it yeah they are my family they are my blood no friend like a yeah yeah so. okay so the next question is have you ever been arrested never I think um, I'll go back to I'm about to lie. I'm not about to lie. <laughs> you can't do it. The 1844 riot. Ah, yes. 1984 riot. With the Yasan, Sua, and the rest. Um, I was arrested with JB Dunquan. She's a liar, guys. Prison. She's lying. It's true. Okay, so. I never have been arrested. <laughs> Okay, so question is, what is your favorite food? Gobe. Jollof rice. Beans. I like beans. <laughs> I really like beans. This no. girl, guys, she <laughs> likes beans to the degree that I can't even mention. Yeah. Okay, so the next question is, what charitable cause is closest to your heart? Charitable cause. cause. I said, I'd like to I'd do. like to do. Oh. Um, owning my own orphanage. Yeah, I think. Me having my own NGO. 
and going around and taking care of widow because one thing about me i lost my dad okay i lost my dad at a very early age when i was 12 years yes that was when i lost my dad that was yeah when i was 12 years so i mean seeing my mom single mom hard working trying to be there for her children and all that i really really would like to take care of widows and also orphans because i know how it's it is like i have been there yeah. i lost my dad and he was our source of hope in so many areas of our lives fed us providing for us most part of my life it was my dad you know but losing him it was hard and i know that most children that are orphans you know they will need help they need help financial help sometimes emotional help sometimes physical help as well they just want to see their parents or their dad or mom and feel they are alive too but the chance is not there so charity cause i would like to take on is being able to take care own my own ngo and take care of widows and orphans okay so the next question is what animal do you think is the cutest Ram sasha. sasha which is my uh, puppy a dog uh, my puppy is so cute it's so adorable it's so beautiful man <laughs> my puppy so yeah so i say my puppy is the most cutest is the most adorable you would ever want to meet one day i'll bring it i'll bring her on it so you see you on the see channel. okay so the next question is what is your favorite social media instagram i think everything is on instagram everything uh, i don't like twitter <laughs> trolling is too much you see the way i'm behaving instagram. i like instagram before yeah i used to like instagram but now i think i'm gradually gravitating towards tiktok <laughs> And YouTube, of course, is one of my favorite places to be. I love to go to YouTube, watch all kinds of movies, all kinds of videos, learn and all that. But now, eh, I'm about wow. to, <laughs> I'm about to spoil there on TikTok. Instagram is, Instagram, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, how many hours a day do you spend on your phone? On my phone? Two four seven, twenty four <laughs> seven. No, in a day, twenty four hours. I'm hey, so you are always on unless, your phone twenty four hours. Unless I'm in class, I have class. Okay. Yeah. Aside my classes hours, yeah, my yeah. phone is with me. Yeah. I don't even use my laptop as much as I use. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. Everything. I mean, it's true. Phone. It's true. It's true. Okay. Yeah, I I would say in twenty four hours, because we have twenty four hours in a day. So I probably use maybe six, seven hours spent on my phone. Then the rest of the hours is maybe going through my midnight sleep and staying there without. So seven, six, seven, eight hours I spend it on my phone. You know, because that is where I watch most movies. Netflix is on my phone. I don't normally turn on TV. Everything is on my phone, editing, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, they are all on my phone too. Yeah, I spent almost eight, nine hours, seven, eight, nine hours. So the next question is, do you like cold or warm weather better? I, I like cold weather. I don't like warm weather. To be honest, when you come to my house, eh, inside the room, and if it's hot, I can't I stay. I just can't when it's light out, I cannot stay. A minute or a second without fun, like heat, is I. The way I sweat. I mean, I like cold weather better. I prefer. So, yeah. I prefer to. Cold weather. Yeah, I prefer to have been in a cold weather. There's snow in my room. And covering myself with a blanket and no, everything, or wearing, you know, jacket and Naked. Stuff. <laughs> hey, baby, sister. <laughs> Yeah, so I prefer cold weather than warm weather. Okay, so the next question, then we will bring these questions 
and to answers. And and so the next question is, what is your first memory? First memory. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I really can't remember any memory. I can never. Yeah, I have no never. idea. Never. I have no idea. We have memories, but I don't know of any memory. Yeah. Okay, so I'm replacing it with what fear do you want to conquer? Struggling to make money. That fear, that thing. The fear to struggle to make money. Because now, eh, aside God giving you the gift of life free of charge, without paying for nothing, okay? The ability to bring to life things that makes life more pure, you know, something. starting something. And thinking it won't work out for you. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I would, like, I would love to conquer that. I would love to conquer that. So, so guys... Thank you for sticking with us. So this is where we we'll bring to the end. We bring yeah. to an end of today's Q and A, and I believe you have enjoyed it. I believe you had fun just like we did. I Next mean, time it's going to be personal, <laughs> personal question and answer. Exactly, like, exactly. What's so private life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we will, because we obviously want to know more of, about you just as we want you to know more about us okay. you know so i mean it's going to be interesting and exciting thank you so much for being with us and please don't forget to subscribe and share and comment <laughs>